Hello all. In this tutorial, we'll model texture and light a 3D stage design in Autodesk 3ds Max. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have this reference over here. Let's start the modeling part over here. So very first of all, over here, we'll take a plane over here, right on the top view. So let's take the reference. So after taking this reference, let's open this reference over here, take a plane. For creating the stage design, what we need to do is we are going to make this using a spline. So let's make a rectangle over here. So let's make a rectangle. Shift and copy the rectangle. Let's make the angle snap toggle to 90 degree. Let's rotate it. Push this out. Select this and this. Convert to editable spline. Select this. And there is option over here, you can just attach this option. Let's go into the spline and you have option, that's your boolean over here. And you can boolean it. You can go into the vertices. Let's push this back a bit. So let's check out the reference. So if you see over here, it's going to this is going to be a bit more wider push this out and push this a bit back so as you have done this uh, stuff till here you can select this and you have a modifier called extrude you can easy extrude this part where so as you can see you have just extruded this part you can go over here so you can just select this you can use the right view use the extrude option you can just check the reference can take a box over here two things can be done over here you can just take a box make a box you can increase its height over here you can increase its height so if you see over here it's uh, in the center so we are not going to make it full Make it at the center part. Increase this part over here. And push it up. So you can just uh, increase a bit of its width if you want. You can just duplicate this part. And you can go on to this right click convert to editable poly and you can just push this down that's it you have you can make one more copy over here go to the vertices and you can push it more down so as you can see over here uh, we have done this just cop copied this and we have made this Let's check out the reference over here. We need this uh, for the advertisement over here. So let's go to the top view over here. So you can just take a box over here and you can just 
drag it something over here for the enticement and keep it over here. The same part. So as you can see over here, this is just uh, not a straight, but you can go over here, take a line over here. So you can just click over here, you can press shift, you can push it like this, this, and this. So as you can see, you can just click enable in viewport and make it rectangle and increase its width. So you still require how to make it more thicker over here. So you can just push it up a bit. That's it. All right. So you can go into the vertices, you can select this vertices and you can push this out, select this, go over here, go into the vertices and you can push this a bit back. So as you can see over here, this is something like this. So uh, you can just right click convert to editable poly, go on to the top vertices and you can push it up. Take one swift loop over here, take one swift loop, give a swift loop, select this polygons and you can just insert this part over here. A bit. That's it. And you can just uh, delete this. You can just delete this bottom also. And you can just select the vertices and just push this down. So you can just select it, and you can just push this down. That's it. Alright, so you can just change, give the color to it, you can change the color if you want, you can do that. So select this, all three, duplicate it, press E and rotate it. So activate this 90 degree option over here, go to the top view and you can just place it over here, that's it. And also this thing will be placed in this x-axis in the mirror part so go on to the top and give the mirror mirror in your x-axis and make a copy of it and just push it over here so as you can see over here we have uh, one more copy made done over here so let's save this so you can just save this file as your stage design underscore one just save it accordingly so as you can see over here we have uh, done this part the second thing is we need to make the chairs a very simple stuff over here for making the chairs Let's go on to the line tool. Let's take a line tool over here. Take a line tool. So you can off this on the line tool over here. And you can just drag it down. So select this and you have some kind of uh, fillet option. So you can use a bit of fillet if required right click and refine it refining is something where you can add some points to it that's it <coughs> if you require some fillet over here also you can just uh, assign some 
kind of fill it to it and we can activate this <coughs> enable in uh, viewport over here and reduce the width. that's it all right so as you can see over here uh, still uh, the length is too much so you can just reduce the length over here and reduce the width that's it so you can just make the support for the chair so for support you can just make it radial over here reduce the radius you can just reduce the radius push it over here So you can go into the top view, push it like this, press shift and make a copy of it, you still require a duplicate, select this, mirror it, copy it and you can place it in this way. So if you want, or sorry, you just need a copy of it. In a simple form, you can make a copy, make a copy in this form. So you can go onto the top view, just select this, press shift, and you can make a copy of it. That's it. So as you can see over here, we have uh, made some changes over here for the chairs so 0 0.021 0.021 so we are going to make it a bit thickening the legs Oops, 0 0.021 0 0.021 and you can just select it and you can group it and you can just change the color of it that's it all right so as you can see over here uh, we have just modeled this part over here so you can just duplicate this stuff like this so as many chairs you want you can take that that many chairs you select this and you can just press shift push it back that's it all right so as you can see over here we have uh, just duplicated this stuff over here let's go to the top view select this press shift and make a copy of it select all of this select this and mirror it mirror it in this x-axis and push this back that's it so as you can see over here uh, we have uh, done this part we have duplicated all of this over here let's save the file over here so we do require some kind of uh, closet over here where we can show something is closed up over here so we have some walls you can utilize this walls over here so we can just utilize this stuff over here like this so we can go over here and convert to editable poly go on to this go into the vertices and you can just push this up that's it so as you can see over here we have uh, duplicated we have made a wall we just going to make this a bit more bigger so we can arrange some lights into it so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial Thanks for watching this video.